Live. Hey everybody, we are finally here. It is finally our Facebook Live flash mob from the Kravitz showroom. And I'm standing next to Scott Kravitz. It's the first time I'm meeting him after a feeling like I know him. <laughs> you feel like you know me, I feel like I know you, right? Awesome. That's it. It's, it's the truth. It's a whole new world now, right? Social media, we all know each other without the in face. Sure, sure. It's important to have a little personal touch. Exactly. So we have a special time here today. It's the Kravitz launch of our new showroom. We are 99 years this year, so big hundred years. And we have a special guest. We want to walk over and say hello to. Now, wait till you see who we have to introduce. It's everybody. my mom. She's not 99 years old. She's 88. <laughs> uh, but she's been with us. And actually, a neighbor she's with is with us uh, about 30 years. So you know, you know me through five years of my life. It's scary. Actually, you're still babysitting for us. We're on live Facebook live video here. Hi, hi, and mom and Dark, you want to come say hello? You're live on media. You're live on media. This is my mom. This is Crabbit. This is Mrs. Crabbit here. Mom, I say hello a few words. Why are you glad to be here? Actually, Will Hunt, the gentleman behind us over here, can turn around and tell us, Mr. Will Hunt, Mr. Will Hunt about this is Facebook Hi. Live on Curate. So tell us how long you put it together and what it's all about. We put it together for almost two years. It's a little live for two years. And it's a one-stop shop for all of our products. It has different 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 products. Most of it is in stock for Will Percentage exclusive to us? Almost 80%. And you're sourcing from all the other? I have a question for you. I had a conversation earlier with some very special audience. What are people treating you like? What does it mean to you when you guys have this name for creating craft? What does it mean to you? It means that we are giving you a large selection of products. And how do they see it? How do they see the product? Besides a little display we have here in the showroom. Our showroom see the catalog. So that new catalog is going to be like the new Sears and Roebuck Christmas catalog I used to get as a kid, right? <laughs> it's like, when is it coming? All right, I love it. Um, we have here in the main salon area, Kravit Couture, and we have some licenses with brand new with Linda Hollingsworth and Calvin Klein. So we just want to take a peek. We want to show what has displayed this way. It's always um, a small piece. These are three art banners, and it shows off the fabric in a nice way. So it's done by color. People shop by color. and was always quick, quick. And the design something to run through. So we just take a quick peek over there. Okay, okay. the mics a little louder and I'm not sure how we would do that because the mics don't have volume so maybe on the phone or something. Or, 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 or. 
open mic to close and Here's the point of my It's sort of like glitter Right here, 
here, I'm looking at it. This fabric right here is going into a new build in Spring Lake. Right now, as we so it's a uh, jacquard woven taken from a little piece of art, translated woven in India for us, and it's a uh, high quality fabric. Okay, good. Uh, the latest one of our stars is Linda Hollingsworth. She's a designer for us in Connecticut. She's a nice collection of carpeting, well covered in textiles. So I launched just a few months ago. And this has been one of the best selling panels. It's well covered as well as textiles. And this jacquard velvet's been pretty spectacular. And I'd say that's one of the home runs. So it's a piece dyed velvet and it's laminated from the top with a little bit of a chagrin pattern. Another winner is oh, this one. Look at how pretty. So it's a different printing today. It's pretty spectacular. in New York that you need to fill up with just the right piece of furniture. Oh, look at this. And, and you know what, I'm going to tell you what, it's, it's not only beautiful, but it actually feels so solid. Yeah. It's At the same time, it's not like it's moving smoothly. Yeah. Like, it feels like you're just sort of like sitting on the edge of this piece of fabric. It's so nice. And you can see the fabric is not only thin, but it's also thin. Yeah. So it's nice and soft. As well as the wood finish. And the wood, of course, can be custom. You can change the finish on the wood. And probably, I imagine, you can change the base as well. What is it? 33 bases, 66 bags. I, I mean, I'm starting to get the lingo. I right, love combinations. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no. Okay. I, that's, it's a beautiful line. It's a beautiful line. This was debuted in High Point, right? It's <laughs> All right, let's see. We're going over here. Loud in here. Here. You want to go all the way down to the, to the carpet area? Okay. Yeah. I follow it. Yeah, right. Yeah. I thought that was really good. It was the old one that you were looking at downstairs. We need to do it. So this is the wall that we talked about. This piece of the graphic feel to it. Beautiful Printed domestically, actually, right here in New Jersey. Even the carpet on the floor has got to be. Right, there's a little. I mean, the carpet is quite well. And here's a new interpretation of the panty you saw before on linen. Now it's on a satin. So it takes different crowns, plus it takes a different kind of feel and spirit to it. Right. Needlepoint, and there's also a razor blade 
on the loom that cuts the pile, so it's called a cut and uncut. So it's a really special fabric. There are 3,500 bobbins that make up this particular fabric. So it takes three ladies, three set up the warp and the weaves about five, six yards a day. It's amazing that you know all that. Well, that's what I do. This is the mills. So it's a, it's a special textile. It and it looks nice on that piece. It's a good job. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Awesome. So while we bumped into here, you know you guys, I'm always talking about Sandra Same. Funk from House of Funk on the show. So here she is in the flesh and blood. I know. I was just sit, testing my um, favorite piece, you know, the tush test. At That's it. You sit in everything. You have to. You have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is insane. I have to show you. So, yeah, fabric is fabulous, and we know that. And, but look at how they, the upholstery work is amazing, too. Like, you don't see a wiggle or a skew. That means somebody was paying attention. And then the pitch of this back and that little lightness, the fact that this opens up behind it, it feels like a little French chair in a really modern way. I just think there's all those spaces in homes where there's a table over here and a seating group over here, and then there's that volume in between, and this is what needs to go there in all your projects. <laughs> Love it. Design tip. <laughs> yes, that's it. Design tip 101. Love it. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. All right, go catch it up. I'm going to catch you later. All right, I'm going to get some more of those great design tips before yeah, we leave. <laughs> you just went through some of the carpet gallery where you have a okay. dedicated room to carpet. So, Kyle can tell you the methods and commands of what we have in here. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Tell me your name again. Kyle Corey. Okay. And are you in. Um, He's a carpet guy. Okay. I'm a rugrat. You're not saying I'm a rugrat. I love it. So we've got a beautiful show over here. A uh, selection of Broadland carpets that you see. As well as over here, we have our handmade rug collection. A lot of photography and stock rugs are available in a range of sizes. Media gratification, as the side of the likes, as well as we do custom pieces and designs and shapes. Uh, color work. As well as some of our custom rugs at the end. Very now, I was wondering, Melanie B has been on the podcast. Will I find her collection somewhere yes, here? Let's see the Melanie B collection. We're go around the corner. All right, we got to find that. Move it a brain. Stuart, would you like to see Melanie's collection? Yeah. Hi, how Hi, are, are you? you? I'm Melanie. Yes. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We'll yes. put Stuart on now. All righty. Hi. So I interviewed Melanie for the podcast. So I love to see her. I see her carpets all the time on Instagram right. and so forth like that, but I'd love to see them in person. Sure. Over here, all right. we make them to order in any time. Don't go too fast. <laughs> One more rack, right here. Nope, they're right here. Ah, you're like, oh, here we go. Oh, look at it, I love her. She's gorgeous. Her carpets are gorgeous, gorgeous. she's gorgeous. These are hand knotted in Nepal. Look at this. Isn't that something? So we can uh, special order to different colors. Okay, so that tell us about that, so it can be any color that this we can, want? This can be any color you want, it can be all wool. It could be wool and silk, um, or it could actually be all silk if you want. Okay. Um, that would be so practical, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, so in the master bedroom where no one walks. <laughs> okay. Where no one walks. Okay. But um, we, the process is, depending upon the size, whether it be a standard size, since it is made to order, the stock, or what it, not stock, the, the sizes would be scaled to the size you want, whether it be a 6x9, or if you wanted a 6x11, we have a rendering, which is made in about five days. Oh, wow, that's Once, fast. Yeah, it, it's pretty that fast. That is pretty fast. <laughs> Once they approve that, we make a strike off. That's about five weeks. Okay. And once that is finished, it's about a five month lead time. Very nice. So it's that's, uh, all, that's a pretty tight lead time for a custom made rug, is. I have to say. I mean, our experience with our clients, that's a pretty tight lead time. And we like to be heroes, so I'd rather tell you it's a six month, seven month lead time and get it earlier than have you call us in a month and say, where is it? So, <laughs> right, exactly. Right. Okay, awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for showing us that. My pleasure. All righty. <laughs> I think we lost, oh, so are, do we have more carpets to see? No, you've seen okay. it, unless you want to show
show them around the other side. Oh, I can show you around. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Oh, is this the Barclay Butera fabric? I'm actually starting to recognize it. <laughs> in our categories of rugs, this grouping is stocked in standard sizes, whether it be 6x9 up to at least 10 by 14 okay. And we have two different sides, one of which is a more moderate price point. Uh, we have things that are all wool. We have things that are all viscose. We have things that are all viscose. Uh, they're all made with the most convenient thing that is mostly hand-woven and hand-tufted. Um, the idea is like fabric that is considered stock. Hopefully, if you need a 6x9, you can get it to you within two weeks. Okay. So um, we also have collaborations with, um, with designers like Barbara Barry. Perfect. Now let me ask you a couple of technical questions about that. So these are available in X amount of standard sizes, usually within two week delivery. So designers can specify it on walk in the showroom, specify it on the project, and have it in two weeks. Are they also available by custom sizes, but not in two weeks? In other words, or is this with you? Correct. Yeah. The, the difference is the mills have a program which has the, their diagram of these sizes. So it's a faster production. Right. Whenever you do a custom size, you, you can't custom color the cheese boards. Okay. But if you have a custom size, you can. You, do that. you can. You just let but go there's two weeks more. Exactly. Okay. We have to have but it's it nice to know that you can do. If you're standing here and somebody said to you, "This is the stock size area," but to know that you can make it whatever size. You want. Absolutely. That's I love it. Um, and then on this side, we have a little more expensive price point, but then again, most of it's hand knotted. Okay. We have, a lot of these are made in Nepal. We have things that are made in, um, also in India and China. Some in Turkey as well. Um, we have things that are wool, or wool and silk. We have things also. Um, there are also, as I mentioned, stock sizes. Uh, we have a bunch of different categories, whether it be traditional, of course these are very contemporary. High-low constructions. Anything that's orange, yeah. Isn't it? We, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. We <laughs> hung this, green too, buddy. We hung this up yesterday, so you're uh, in, in uh, <laughs> picked a good time to come. We have these, but don't you like ours? These also, which I just think are Oh, yes. So, and you can see, when you do hand knotted, you get that nice variation of color, which you don't get, you know, with the vegetable. Oh. So then we have the traditional, which... These are very popular, things that are washed, things that are more vibrant colors. The saturated colors, people aren't really gravitating to the person. They tend to want things that are very So Stuart, tell me a little bit about, for all the designers that are watching that don't have the ability of it being near a showroom, first of all, is it just the New York showroom that has this extensive collection of the carpets and different things, or are all the showrooms outfitted to this level? Well, to this level, this is a flagship show. So this so is we not have the largest mm -hmm. selection. Okay. But we do have also another uh, grouping of, of maybe, I don't know, maybe a half the size in Chicago. Yes, about the half the size. It's uh, uh, really good assortment, but again, it's modified for this okay. Case. okay. And how about the designer that isn't local to any showroom? Yeah. Are, is the product found online? How is the well, you know what it is, as you know, carpet is tactile. Right. So and it's very hard to just buy something. I and mean, also, you're looking at it on a, on a rack. Right. When you put it on the floor, don't leave. So yes. let alone you add that, and then you put it in a photograph. So this is something that I wouldn't mess around and try to, you know, oh, I want that rug and order it. I would do everything you can. You can call a crowded showroom, and they can loan you a sample for a short period of time, and actually see it. I would never recommend just ordering it off the picture. Okay, and then another final question about that. So the stock program, are these available as memos, like for a design, well, or how does that work? We're fortunate. Work? This collection over here, most of our smart collection, as you'll see, we have small samples if we, we 
So we should have them in the showroom, plenty of them. We have a lot stocked in our warehouse. But the road reps, if you're not in fact in your showroom, the road reps are given these so they can certainly show them to you and if you want to see a larger size. So that's how a designer that doesn't have access to a showroom, exactly. their road rep would have whatever sample, so they might find something online or see something in an Instagram feed from Kravit, and they can contact their road rep and say, I want to see this in this colorway. Exactly okay, great. Because you know, coming up. I gotta say, the podcast is going to 120 uh, countries, so you don't know who might want. Absolutely, <laughs> no. Not all here in New York. <laughs> you know, we can pretty much sell to everyone. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. So, all righty. Well, thank you so thank much. You thank you, my pleasure. Appreciate it. You. All righty. All right. As I say, back to you, Scott. <laughs> I got the highlights of the show. Is that it? Yeah. I think yeah. It's nice. I mean, there's a lot more, but we're crowded than that. Okay. Well, I appreciate you spending your time Thank with you. us. No, I appreciate that. Right. 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 We're going to pots and do so. We'll keep going. Okay, so great. we'll let you go back to your party. Thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Right. All right. How about you, Kate? Kenny Potos? Let's get you on here. Good afternoon. <laughs> so this is Ken Potos. He happens to be my Kravit rep. And I have to say, if you listen to the podcast, you know that he's been my private rep since like 83 or 84. When did we start, 85? When did you, when did you know? Was that 18? <laughs> no, 1985. Was it 85, is that when it was? Yeah, because we opened in 82. And so you were the first company that I had a fabric line with. And I called to the Kravitz showroom and I'm like, I think I saw Kravit on Architectural Digest or something. And so I was like, I called up and I'm like, you know, do I have to come into New York every time? I didn't know anything. I was 22 years old. <laughs> 22 years old, right? And you came out to the showroom. We were in West Orange then. And you walked in and you look exactly the same. I don't know what the hell you, how you do that. <laughs> well, it's been an awesome journey and hopefully. Sure has. Uh, that's right, that's right. And so how do you feel about being in this new showroom here? Do you like it? I think it's awesome. My clients have come in, like the layout, and uh, the your whole family works here, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Wow. Your father started with Kravit in 1959. He did. He was the longest tenured employee. Oh, no. Kravit works up with Mr. Kravitz. Wow. And your brother works here, right? My brother is the showroom manager. Yeah. And uh, well, I started uh, 40, uh, about 40 years ago. A little bit longer because it was just supposed to be a summer job. <laughs> but it's been a very long summer. <laughs> and it's been an awesome journey and uh, it's been great. The uh, company has evolved over the time and uh, so proud to be part of it. Yeah, yeah, no. That's funny because when I started at Window Works working for my husband, it was the same thing. I said, well, I'll just work here until I get another job. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we liked where we landed, there right? You go. Awesome. Absolutely. All righty. So, well, thank you so much for spending time with us here today. All right. I got to get another live body on the line. All righty, Kenny. Thanks. All right. Let's get Miss Sandra Funk back here again. So, tell me, what have you been impressed by here other than this lovely chair? Is there something else we should take a look at? There's a lot of things. All right. Let's go, I'm Sandra. Well. <laughs> okay. There's a quick stop. It's not far. Okay. Okay. Here. okay. I am adoring.
any Hey ladies, the audience wants you to talk just a tiny bit louder. We're sorry, audience. We appreciate the feedback. Thank you so much. It's so rare. You have to talk louder. This may be a first for both of us. Cheers. Okay, awesome. All right. We're talking louder and we're moving lots of more. We're talking louder and we're moving. Let's go. Where are we going? I keep telling you all this is like the shoe that makes me In case you needed something really unique in your window treatment hardware, or you happen to have a chalet, oh, or well, like the show today, we have Park City, Utah, we have Alder and Tweed, Green Hunter is on the show today, and they specialize in vacation homes in Park City, Utah, so that would be right up that alley. That was such a great episode, I love the <laughs> He's great. Oh, what a concept. I love all of these yep. Kravitz accessories. The idea that I can accessorize a client's home yep. quick, one off. I don't have to buy quantities. Look at here we go. Okay. I don't have to buy. I don't have to buy in stock. I know you have to have 20 vases when you need one. Exactly. I don't need to and I need accessories, and that's what the Kravitz. And I want you to tell the story. I want you to tell the story. You just told me last week in your office, in your studio, you said, go ahead. I, I said to you, I asked you, have you been using it? And what's the, the thing? And this and that. And then you went into a story. So sure. tell us. So we have a client that you do my window treatments on. And we've been um, decorating in the city here in New York. And the client is really good accessories. It's really grounding out the end of a long, wonderful job. And they are in the city. Multiple homes, and they said just ship it all direct to me. And I knew that I had to make a choice that it had to be shipped single because I couldn't unpack it myself, take the three quantity that I required to buy from so many of our accessory vendors, and then repackage and reship to them. In addition, I needed the packaging that showed up at their New York apartment to be beautiful, right? Special. And you know, there's a lot of packaging. We all in the industry, we unpack our accessories, we unpack our tables, they come in. It's got stamped made in China all over it. It's got packing material from they just look like presents coming to the house. I knew and it is true, it is packaged beautifully, it is individually wrapped items, and it felt like this is morning for them, and I'm like we have to create a craft. It's a plain thing. It's not right. Because it would be one thing if you were doing a reveal install, or even if you were organizing your own team to come and do a one day install. So, like you said, you receive the product. You have other places that you use for accessories that you love, and you're not going to abandon them. Nobody is saying that you would. But you're describing how. Sometimes you need one boss, but you have to order two, or you have you need two and you have to order four. In which case, you you are explaining to me that you receive it at your studio, take them out, put the two in that you need, and then that goes to your install. Right. And okay. Then I don't like to keep things. Well, that's the other thing. What do you do with the other, you know, ninety bosses that you? Right. And so, like every accessory in my house just can't be the leftovers for like twelve. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> This is the moment for your mind to come out. Are we out. saying we can't hear it all or we can't hear it well? Not well. Nothing? No, you, they can hear you. It's just not very well. So hold on. Let's try something real quick. Speak now and get closer to them. now or forever hold your peace. Well, I've been wanting to show you this light picture behind me. So can you walk with me? I've been using the 
You just have to get closer to the phone. Okay. So, okay, take a You see this? Um, Glowy yeah. rock crystal. Sign me up. I love it. I love it. So talk to me about where, what kind of space do you see this in? What is, again, traditional, transitional, modern, where are we going with this? Okay. This is a very specific spot. This is picked out, and it's going to be a little too big. We are seeing my great feel. That's trying to go more modern, appealing to the younger audience. Um, Ask uh, HOF designers, they're tuning in. What's that? Ask the HOF designers, they're tuning in. Oh, okay. So, ask the HOF designers out there, let us know. Do you have any questions from anybody that's watching that wants to see something in the showroom that maybe that caught their eye as we were walking and we stopped the viewers with it? Well, enough. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. So, in this case, if this is going to give you the overall, like it changes the whole dynamic of the room. Oh, so you were saying if you can't afford to do the millwork on that wall in there, if you put a piece of wall covering like this, then exactly. you're getting that depth out of the wall that you might be missing with all the expensive millwork. Exactly. And so you want to create the lodge feel. Okay. Amazing. I can't, can you imagine a third floor attic that wasn't doing a darn thing and now it's an art studio? No, right? It definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay. Um, a big panel molding in three different scales oh. that are that is just out of control ah so the look of a wall of shutters oh that's interesting getting a little industrial, industrial. <laughs> very, very industrial <laughs> the look of kind of a concrete wood form wall very cool. which could be really interesting in a basement where yes. you would love to leave the wood the walls concrete we always strip back a basement and I want to leave it just like that yes. but you can't by you can't code you it. have to insulate and you have to leave the airflow right. but you can bring that look back and their level of depth and detail in their wallpaper is just look out of control gorgeous 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 and I just the warmth that's coming through that little teal tone that you could jump from here and create just such an incredible room right. you could Use that teal tone to work off carpet and fabric and different things. To exactly. Pull it and I'm going to keep it. going. We have faux chagrin. There is, I swear to you, there's, aha, panel molding. Oh, there you go. So, Sandra, have you ever seen actually wall covering like that? Is it truly effective? Does it really look beautiful? It doesn't look like cheesy. I couldn't afford millwork. Not when you come to this level of detail. And okay. that's the difference. Okay. There's there's plenty of uh, out there. Okay. But when you get to this level of the colors being as the rich as they are, here, the shading, like the I mean, thing. you're coming into that grain detail that... Um, looks like it's been a filled nail hole detail, the shadow lines. Okay. Um, I love so much what they did here is they have it at the medium scale. They have a very tight, small scale. What happens when you want to... And then to look at this. Look at that. So it's like picture frame molding, So right? right now we're doing a picture frame molding with our woodworker in a home. But it's a curved staircase. That's, again, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> we now need molding that faint can bend, right. not for faint of heart, <laughs> pocketbook either. Right. But in a home that needed, that wanted to get that level of detail but has a big curved wall, okay. that's a really interesting workaround for okay. a foyer that maybe it's a double height foyer and they priced out the millwork and they're like, no chance. You've got to pick them up off the floor. You have to pick them up off the floor. Now, Andrew Martin, Kravit Couture, it's not nothing. Right, 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 right. But now we've set an anchor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, seeming really just designer reasonable. speak now. <laughs> Anchored. Yes. That's it. But I just, I think this is marvelous. And to have walked out of a room that had panel molding and see an alternative to that. Right. It's a really interesting way so to So I have a question for you. So if we go back to the one picture, because that, that's a big scale. So we go back to the smaller scale panel molding like this. When you go to put this in a room, then do you... Do you disregard it when you go to do artwork in that room, or do you don't do artwork? Like, how does that work from your, like, designer brain? So, I don't disregard it, but I certainly put artwork on top of it in you addition. Do. Okay. Yeah. I and think if you're going to do this, you need to kind of, your wallpaper installer needs to think like a trim molding guy. So, it needs to kind of offset. You need to think about your center lines. And then you do hang art in a way. Um, you know, you're not going to put a piece of art like that's the middle. You're going to put it in the middle of the panel as if you were hanging it on in a real room. wood. Yeah. Okay. The same thing with a gas fireplace. The more you put fireplace tools and a wood basket next to it and a screen that's 3D and comes out and sits on the hearth, the more you create the ambiance of that being a real fireplace. Okay. Just because it is gas and you flick a switch, to me, doesn't mean you shouldn't have a throw blanket on the chair nearby and a bunch of birch right. stacked up in right. a basket. It's about creating the emotional illusion. The illusion of it. Of it the illusion of exactly. it. The feelings of it. The feelings, the feelings of, of it. Of it. Oh, and this <laughs> feels really <laughs> elegant. Yes, yes, I love it. I love it. Okay, so. All righty. We? we have a request to go to the curated Kravit room. Let's go. I'm in. <laughs> Oh, 
All righty. We're making our way back through the showroom here. Should we cut on a diagonal through here? I think if we can, should we, can we just stop every time we see something? Sure. <laughs> How about this rug, Sandra? Oh, I, the rug is... I didn't even notice the rug. The rug is out of control because I was so oh, busy yeah. looking at the light. But let's do the high and the low, hey, shall we? How are you? <laughs> Good to see you too. Hello. Arlene On Guard, everybody. She was a previous podcast guest. This is Arlene On Guard. She's an interior designer in New York City, and she owns an art gallery here in New York City as well. Oh, We're doing great. oh, and it's Asler Valero, another previous oh, podcast guest, and also a designer from New York City. Hi, buddy. How are you? Happy it's summer. Good to Good see, to see you. you. Hi, sweetie. How are you? We're doing are Facebook you? Live. You're on Facebook oh, wow. Live with us. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. So these are our illustrious alumni from our podcast. How, what do you guys think of the showroom here today? Gorgeous. Yeah, you Gorgeous. love it, right? Refreshing. Easy and breezy. Yeah, yes, light, right, right. New items, new furniture, and I think everybody should come and visit us. That's right. Why not? Right? Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. I'm talking like if it is my own home. I know. But, well, right. Hey. hey, we're all part of the Kravitz family we're now. Exactly. <laughs> all of us. Awesome. I've come to enjoy all the new product innovations as well. Yes, right. So we were just working. Now, you guys, have you met Sandra Funk? Okay, so this is Sandra from House of Funk, also a podcast alumni, Arlene on guard. And so Sandra and I have been going through the showroom, and she's explaining it to me from a designer's perspective, the different things that she sees and that she likes and why she likes them and how she sees them being used in her different projects. So uh, that is what we're doing on Facebook Live today. There are so many wonderful products to use in a different way. You have organic, sustainable, cheap, colorful, comfortable. You and have everything you need. And wonderful, wonderful yeah, exactly. variety of them. Yes. Come to visit Kravit and you will rock in your projects. That's <laughs> it. All right. We got a nice little testimonial there. Yeah, Thank right. you. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. It was great seeing you both. Good to see you. Love you. All the best. Nice to meet pleasure you. To meet you. All righty. Oh, they want to know about that chair. Let's tell the viewers what they want to know. Are you tush testing? Oh, I'll tush test this. I was just going to. I'll tush test this one. <laughs> Oh, well, all right. I have to get comfortable in my tush test. Snuggle in. I have to say, it is actually, frankly, extremely comfortable. <laughs> no jokes. No joking. Um, it has exactly what I, you know, I specify it in furniture all the time. You know, a foam core with a down wrap and all that other nonsense, but it's really nice to see what it feels like with the things that you specify and how comfortable that they actually are. So let's see what Sandra thinks. All right. You know, I, Hello. I love that chair. I have to get a little cl I have to get a little closer. Yes. Oh, and I love this fabric. We've been crushing on this fabric. Um, we've this used is the fabric that Scott was just pointing out. It's us, I think, so right? beautiful. We've used this in pillows in the one shade lighter and it is magical. It just sparkles in the light. Okay, tush testing. This is a well-heeled tush. I've been testing a lot of things. <laughs> that just came out of my mouth. Okay. So, this um, the chair is so comfortable and look at these lines did you all check this out no chair is worth its salt unless it looks good from the front side and back because you want to be able to float this in the room and look at it from any angle okay the chair is amazing and comfortable super squishy loose back and a lumbar pillow i think it's all working so well one quick thing this what drew me to this little grouping here was this light fixture so I am completely and totally obsessed with white plaster right now, and the sheer simplicity of that is astounding. I see that, like a pair of those, down the middle of a huge living room that we're working on right now. Um, just letting the light glow up on the ceiling and rain down. The living room that I'm thinking of has a really exquisite marble mantle and beautiful chunky um, crown moldings throughout so it doesn't need to be comp competed with it doesn't need something sparkly and amazing because the architecture is already doing that what it needs is something really elegant and stripped back to just say I'm the light fixture that's the architecture and neither the twain shall compete <laughs> <laughs> all right we have another suggestion on our technical difficulty thank you for our at home viewers and helpers. 
So we're thinking that our problem might have been that I have two mics and the sound is both going to both. So let's just see. Now I have to do this, but at least we have a little bit more work to do. Tested. So we're, we're testing and we're going to check the sound and see if it works. In the meantime, we want to talk about this right. Okay. Anytime you can put hide on the floor. It's not working. You should. Okay. All right, sorry, we're going back to the little crazy mic. <laughs> tiny, tiny mic. All right, so we were just talking about the hide, hair on hide floor area rug and the wavy cut pattern. So all of these are individual pieces, which is giving us so much texture overall because you've got the lighter, the charcoals. Look at how this like is longer in the middle. This is exquisite. And it almost has the feeling of a Carrera marble in that it's got light gray, dark gray, and then this warm tone coming through. So just like a good Carrera, a Calcutta marble mm. that has warm tones in the gray tones and the whites, it literally can work into so many color palettes because that little bit of warmth in there allows it to be transitional into a, a warm chocolate floor, brown tones, gray tones. So this is an amazing piece if you've got a finished room that you want to make more transitional and you want to introduce gray. It's a it's a beautiful bridge color from the beigey tans. Nice, very nice. Good I stuff. love it. I love it. So I'm going to tell you what. We've been talking to these people for an hour now. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> I know we're probably passion, but testing the limits of their patience. I'm not sure, but <laughs> Okay, so here's what I want to round up and say to everybody is I thank you so much for joining us here today. I do thank you very much for putting up with our shenanigans on these microphones. I want to say thank you to the crowd share the showroom space with all of us and inviting Sandra and myself here to share this with them. And I definitely want to thank you, my buddy, for you know giving us your expertise and going through the showroom and sharing you know, from the perspective that I don't have. So I'm very, 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 very happy that all of you joined us. And I would love to encourage you to come here in person if you have the opportunity to. All righty. Have an excellent day, everybody.